Okay. So that appears to be it for Atomos. That took a... a while. That is the judgment staff that you are giving me. I'm assuming that that is going to be like the ultimate, um, white mage thingy that I can, that I can put on. Um, so I did... Uh, no, apparently. Interesting. So I did go and, uh, and look up some stuff. Alright, so that'll make Stella's attack go way, way up. Um, about Atomos while I was, I was bored and, and in there. And, um, 13,000 HP is their total HP, which is, is a, definitely a lot, not quite unattainable. Um, you have a lot of defense, which wasn't really personally a fan of, having to uh, cut through all that defense. Um, which meant that Stella was the only one who really got to do anything in that fight, but, um, um, we, uh, we got there in the end. Um, still unclear to me, like, I didn't look into, like, spoilers regarding this thing or anything. Um, so I don't know if this was actually something that I'm supposed to be doing, like, way later in the game. But, uh, again, we got there in the end. Alright, now how do I get out of there, though? I, I do hope that, uh, there isn't another boss after this or anything like that. Because that would be very, uh, very dastardly indeed. Let's see, this is a treasure room. Okay, protect drink. Just for defense, cockatrice claw. Which is one of those battle consumables. Alright, um... Can I leave, please? I mean, I, I like chess, but I also, I want to leave. I guess I can also always... I can always die on purpose. Nothing in there. I can always die on purpose and that'll just warp me back to the beginning, right? I don't know if I want to rely on that strategy, though. It's, uh... Seems like it could backfire easily, like if I actually game over instead of just warping back. Okay. Please tell me I'm going in the right direction. Um... These killer sharks... Okay, so here's stairs. These killer sharks have a... A lot of HP. They, uh... Take quite a few hits to take down. Anyway. A uh, light curtain and a mind plus. All right, so I know the mind plus. I'm pretty sure the mind plus is basically one of the uh, X items of this game. Mind plus raises intelligence. Oh no, that's a permanent buff. Okay, I'm gonna use that on you. Don't actually know what your intelligence stat is right now. Cats null all. Hmm. That might not be bad. That might not be a bad battle consumable. Anyway, let's see. Um... Down. There is just a treasure chest sitting right here out in the open. That is a remedy. Thank you very much. Cures all status ailments. Um... Which way to go? This way is an empty room. Those killer sharks are actually a little scary. That top path would have just looped around. Let's go this way. Please, with this dungeon end, I want to get back to the overworld. All right, there are stairs. B13. Uh, once again, we are in a castle in the air. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, game, why why are you doing this to me? Why? What have I ever done to deserve this? I don't know what will happen if I take a wrong step. I don't know if I just can't take a wrong step or if I'll actually just fall to my doom. And I don't want to find out. Because... I would actually rather just... take it patiently... step by step... than... Alright, that looks important. Let's see if I can go around here. I'd rather just take it patiently, step by step, than, um, than fall and have to do it all over again. Okay, that's cool. Alright, well, at least I didn't fall to my doom. What is this? Is this is a table or something that I... Okay, that's a table. I was gonna say, is that like a glowing crystal? Because it looks kind of like it's glowing, but it's actually just a, uh, um, a table. Alright. Um, I guess for what it's worth, now I do know what happens if you take a wrong step, and that is that you, uh, you have to start back at the beginning. 
which isn't super fun. Um, right, I can just go down here. This is a nice carpet floating high in the sky. Uh, Vampire Fang and a Power Plus. Is that another permanent boost? The drinks are the ones that are temporary boosts, I think. Uh, Power Plus is probably for strength. That is something that Argus is going to extremely very much get. Ferritonic tempor temporarily raises max HP. Alright. Weird item, given what we know has been happening to fairies at least once in this game, but... Uh, sure. I'll, I'll let it sit there in my inventory. Why not? Um, that's another blue fang. And that's another dead end. Okay. So... Please tell me this is the last room after this. Seriously. Alright. This is the next stopping point, I suppose. That's another one of those fancy glowing tables. Um... Is there like... Is this a dead end? I didn't see any other branches. Uh, oh no. Oh, okay, I can go this way as well. That does open up a lot of places to go. I will say though, at least... One, if I do want to teleport back to the beginning, I can just drop off, and it seems that there is no, no HP penalty to that. And two, really happy that there's no random encounters in here. That would make this even more painful. What does the red curtain do? Uh, can I? Oh, I can scroll through with the triggers. All right. All right. Cast no all and cast no blaze. All right. So a little bit of fire immunity, I guess. All right. Next, that is a mega elixir. Does that is that um MP for the entire party? I think that's MP for the entire party. Fully restores the party's HP and MP. All right. Um, that's a lot. That, I'm sure, will be coming in handy in a boss fight or two. Um. Alright, so we can move on to the next point of interest over here. And a bed. Can I heal? I don't get to heal? That sucks. Alright, this bed sucks. Let's, uh, is this another dead end? Um... Hmm. Gonna have to go back until I find another place I can go then. Alright, well... This... has put me on the path between those two walls. I don't know if you could call it a back alley if you're floating high in the sky, but... Uh, whatever it is... That appears to be... That appears to be a, an area of significance. Um... There's a part of me that wants to be, like, more daring and take steps that I think I remember being part of the path for the sake of time, but also, like, I don't, because if I fall, it'll be a really long, long walk to get back to where I was. Um... This just keeps going. Alright, this will give me access to this room, at least. Stamina plus. Um, I still don't know what stamina does, but... Apparently I've already got them somewhere. I still don't know what stamina does... Here. Um, what'll, what'll change if I use one? I don't know what changed. Give the two tanks one of those. Can make use of it. Alright. This is, uh... You all remember Super Mario Galaxy 2, right? Does anyone remember the, uh, Flash Black Galaxy? That's what this reminds me of. I don't know if I went the same way... Um... As I did... The first time, before I fell off, by the way. But... 
Um, I'm just hoping that if I go in this direction, it'll be something resembling the right direction. Because... Really... Really want this to be over with so that I can get back to the regular game. And get back to, uh... You know, bonking things with my sword and setting them on fire and that sort of thing. Alright. Stairs! Yes, thank you! There may have been an alternate route to get to get there because that looks like it's it's coming in from somewhere else. Life Sprint Grotto B14! How many floors are in this? Whoever heard of a 14 floor dungeon? This is better to not be like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Gotta contend with like what hundred story dungeons, something like that. That would be a, that would be a lot. Anyway, okay. I never, I never opened that chest. Silver apple. What is a silver apple for? Um, apparently I already have one. So I'm gonna have to search through the list for a silver apple. Raise max HP by five. I have two of them. Um, it stands to reason that I should use these on the character who has the least HP, because proportionally that'll be the biggest difference, so Stella gets those. Um... Alright, these are all the- these are all the temporary bonuses. That seems to be the last permanent bonus item, and the rest of- I hit sort, by the way. The rest of this list is, uh, equipment. Okay. Game, please, I'm dying here. Um, did I go through here already? Anyway. I mean, like, it all- it definitely all starts to look the same after a while. Um, after a certain number of these. Especially since I spent so long in a dungeon that looks like this anyway. Um, a couple of videos ago. Uh, it really does start to look the same after a while. Um, stairs! Alright. That one was easy. B15. Alright, we're gonna keep going. And I thought- and I thought that we had been going on for a while once we hit, like, B8. Okay. Manually healing with, like, all the random potions and other low-powered items... ...that I picked up over the adventure. Alright, these killer shards actually hit pretty hard. Yeah, a potion, thanks, 50 HP. Just what I've been using to heal. Like, I'm not even being sarcastic, I have been- I did just use my last- my last potion until I picked up the new one because I- I wanted to get them out of my inventory. Dead end, dead end. Um... That's another dead end. Um... Did I go in this door yet? I did not. Echo Grass. That's- that's probably due to, uh, um, pertaining to silence, right? Um... I guess I'm gonna have to backtrack quite a ways. What is this? That is just a wall? Alright, um... Did I go up here yet? I feel like I probably did. Alright, that's a dead end. It's really weird when you're not able to get away from, like, an encounter with, like, a single goblin from, like, way back in episode one. Anyway, um... Starting to actually run low on ethers. There's the stairs! There's the stairs! So I do, st I do still have, like, some ethers. I have some, some regular ethers and some of the bigger, fancier ethers. Still another floor. Um, but my supply is definitely starting to run a little low. I think I had, like, 70 of the things when I came in here, too. It's, uh, a little ridiculous. Um, and I'm really gonna have to, uh, really gonna have to be a little bit more, more careful about how many of those I, I use all over the place. And I guess there's also the the option of like using physical attacks that don't consume ether whenever you have the chance, and uh, fleeing from battles. And uh, most of the uh, most of the the MP that I'm using at the moment um, is going to uh, the killer sharks, which do seem to be giving a decent amount of experience. They are decently difficult to fight. They're not just dying in one hit. Here's a case of stairs. Um, B17. Are you kidding me? All right, cross potion. Yeah, that's. Not a terrible, not a terrible item by any stretch. Um, unfortunately, this is not like I was, for a moment I wondered if this was going to be like the library where it was just like people and no random encounters, but, and then I ran into a random encounter, so that, um, that made me a little unhappy. There's a chest. Really annoying when you can't just run away from low-leveled enemies. 
Alright, Phoenix down. I don't remember if I've ranted about this in this game. Like, I, I understand why games, um, like, it's generally, and there are sometimes other reasons, but it's generally a reason to make the player, to discourage the player from going somewhere where they, like, will be in over their heads level-wise in the game, or, um, uh, that sort of thing without necessarily having a, uh, like, a solid wall or anything like that, like a solid progress gate. But, um, like, when you can't run away from enemies that are, like, level 1, when you're, like, level 5 million, it's just... I can't, I can't, I can't complain too much about this game because, you know, 1987, but once in a while you'll see it in a modern game. Although, uh, for what it's worth, I think most professional developers have more or less figured out that it's uh, a little bit irritating. When you can't run from a random encounter with something that's, like, level 1 when you're level 5 million, um, I did not see, I did not see a staircase. Did I miss something important? How do I get around there? Well then, don't tell me I'm gonna have to actually use my brain here. All right, it's, wait a minute, is this a door? Um, I thought this was, there we go, okay. I thought that was just like a fancy bit of wall, but apparently that's a door. So, treasure chest. Lunar Curtain, and apparently I missed a treasure chest over there. Is that furniture? Is that something I'm gonna want to go back and investigate? Um, I think I saw... Hilariously, that battle transition gave this away. Uh, what is this? This is non-interactable, apparently. Alright. There's a part of me... Also, by the way, I don't know if I finished that thought earlier. Hilariously, one of the battle transitions just, like, gave away the presence of a door that I probably wouldn't have noticed otherwise because the door disappears when the battle transition happens. That's all I was gonna say there. Um, there's a part of me that wants to say, like, we're probably getting close to the end because this looks like a fancy place, but... Like, I also said that, like, 11 floors ago, so I don't even know... I don't even know what to think anymore. Um, door. I just think that I want to go... Like, in the general direction of doors. Okay! Life Spring... Life Spring Grotto something. B19. <sighs> Which file have I been saving over? This one? Yeah. Alright, let's save over that one. You look important. Are there gonna be random encounters in here? I'm not detecting any. Okay, let me... Let me heal. And I presume that you are going to be something Dark Bahamut. Alright, so now are we actually going to fight Bahamut? Here the bold are tested to see whether they are fit to advance beyond. If you would proceed, you must first face my disciples. Uh, one silver dragon, one white dragon, two blue dragon. Defeat them all and you may pass. Speak to me again if you wish to know how many you've defeated. I, like, alright, I'm sorry for beating you up, but I don't expect this to take very long at all because I've been fighting these things for ages. All right. Sarah gained a level, thank you. Uh, that was a white dragon, I think? All right, I think that was everyone. I've just left a pile of like deceased dragons in my wake. I'm really sorry about that, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna again heal manually. Because I still can't help but think that we're probably in for a fight against Dark Bahamut. Uh, or Bahamut or whatever. I've never heard it spoken aloud. Um, just because that seems like the sort of thing that this game would do, or that games in general would do. So I'm going to definitely heal it manually. Um, yeah, that's how long I've been down here since the last time I got to sleep at an inn. Is that Argus' max MP is up to 136 for reasons... God only knows. Uh, Stella's MP is all the way maxed out, uh, to the surprise of probably nobody. So we're just gonna, uh, restore... Restore your MP, we're gonna restore my MP, and this is probably gonna be the last of my ethers, yeah? Uh, yeah, that's gonna perfectly use up the last of my ethers. So again, I do still have, uh, a dry ether, two elixir, and two mega elixir if I need it. I hope I don't need it. Uh, I can very easily go buy 99 more regular ethers and 99 more high potions, but I can't easily get the, the elixirs. Alright. You are free to pass, but remember this, the real trial is only just beginning. Please tell me you don't have 81 more floors to go. I hear a lock spring in the distance. Alright, well... 
Do you fear what is to come? That's not very... Not very interesting. So sorry that I that I kind of uh, beat up like most of your of your companions. I hope they'll I hope they'll get better soon. But Life Spring Grotto B20. Is there gonna be more of this? I might actually die. All right. So this looks like a boss because of course. A thousand years it has been since the challenger stood before me. Show me the power you possess. Defeat me if you can. Oh, this game. Omega. Alright, so we, we fought Atomos. I was gonna say we fought Alpha, and now we're fighting Omega, but I think we it was Atomos that we were fighting earlier. Um, Atomos, of course, meaning indivisible, and I think, uh, as we found out, uh, turned out to be very divisible from like his, his head from his body or whatever. Um, not the best name that I... Uh, that Square Enix has ever given anything, but we'll see. So, I'm gonna probably employ the strategy that I've been empl employing since the beginning of time. Can I just... I, I wanna say, let's just cast kill to see if I can get away with it, but there's no way I'm actually gonna get away with it. Because uh, since when does that work in bosses and video games? Alright, that missed everybody. Fantastic. Okay, so Wedge did 50 damage, and I hope this isn't gonna be a replay of the last one. Argus did 8 damage. Oh my god, I'm gonna be here a while, aren't I? <sighs> Alright. I'm gonna- I'm gonna start buffing everybody's- uh, I've already buffed everybody's physical defense, I'm gonna start buffing everybody's magic defense with Sarah. Um... Thundaga, let's see if Thundaga does more damage. Ow! And that was with that buff too? Are you joking? Unless that was a special attack. That looked like a physical attack. That did a lot of damage. Let's do Thundaga again. Anyway. Um, you two can go do next to nothing, but next to nothing is better than actual nothing, I guess. Um, Wedge, your turn. Actually, it probably would be a better idea for you guys to um, use healing items on yourselves, but no matter. Uh, wave Cannon. Okay, that actually does sound like a special attack. And Argus barely survives there with his life. Um, yeah, you guys really- 8 damage? Don't know about that. I think you guys are gonna be on potion duty for the rest of the battle. Um, I guess it makes sense that you would be weak to electric. Taking 500 damage from that Thunderbolt. You are, after all, a machine type. Um, high potion. High potion. I guess Stella, I mean, Sarah can take a turn, uh, Hilaga in, because everybody did take damage on that last turn, and... Alright. Stella, I hope you don't mind doing the same thing for the next, like, 20 turns. There, there goes Argus. Oh, and Wedge. Okay, that's neat. That's a lot of fun. I appreciate the healing, though, all the same. Done about... 2,000 damage to you so far, if we're keeping score. Um... Alright, this got real not super good looking in a real hurry. I don't know if I'm gonna want to like actually do this again. I was thinking like I would I would go back for those those shrine trial things later on in the game, but due to the sheer length of this, I really don't know if I feel like doing that. I'll look- I'll look into it. I'll see if- I'll see if the, uh, the other ones are as long, or I'll see if I can somehow skip straight to B20 if I come back here later, because, like... Yeah, thanks. Getting- getting that over with quickly. Yeah. I don't know if I feel like going back there. Alright, anyway. Was there anything important that I had to do? 